What's happening guys? I uh, just got out of a 6 a.m. workout uh, with my uh, little guy in the garage uh, who is uh, training right now to uh, to win a state title like a lot of you guys are. And uh, here's here's a big big thing that I, I really want you guys to understand and, and you should probably have a day where you just literally think about this. Um, but you know, it's two thing, twofold, okay? What, you know, what it would look like if you just, you know, approach the day um, with a little bit different perspective. You know, every day you go in there and you're trying to build your, you know, you're building your encyclopedia of skills and you're working hard and so you're building in your, you know, hours of how much time you're putting in and the work you're putting in and we're always preach this message constantly like put in the work, put in the work, put in the work and you know what, you know, happens is you constantly do that and it helps you in a lot of ways. Uh, you continue to develop, you continue to get better, you continue to, um, you know, improve a little bit at a time and that is a secret to success is just finding ways to improve 1%. Uh, better each day but what happens every once in a while is you get caught and you get caught or you get beat with a move that yet you, you haven't worked on and that's just the reality of our sport is there's guys out there that can most there's most likely a guy out there that's a little bit better than you or is more ready than you or wrestles harder than you or you know, beat you in that moment, um, and he caught you um, with a move. And maybe he's not better than you, but he caught you. And that is a common thing that happens. Um, my little guy I was working out with this morning, we started off practice a little bit different. We just said, instead of, you know, diving right into our system and drive, diving right into our, you know, daily training, which we do a lot of, um, you know, structural training, systematic training, okay, things that are gonna create muscle memory, training in positions rather than training techniques. Now that's our normal day, but I started off today a little bit different. I said, you know, sometimes you you do need to have a day or two or a week where you just have a perspective on, you know, all the potential positions that you can get beat. Um, it's, it's like um, in business, it's like in business, you know, coaches or parents or you know you guys probably think about this you probably say you know what are all the ways my business could fail or I could fail at my business um, and sometimes it's just good to have that in check and in reality because when you do I think one of the things you guys are gonna notice is um, sorry I'm driving and I got one cup of coffee in one hand and uh, filming in the other hand probably not a good idea but I had this on my mind and I always when I get things on my mind I always want to share them with you and that is to think about the ways that you could possibly get beat all right and then work on those things so uh, this weekend the kid hit a peak, peak out and uh, my kid went like to a chin chin whip thing which is kind of a middle school habit that he has um, and he tried to go for the pin the kid bridges over catches you know my guy's arm my guy's arm stuck and then he gets the pin so it's like okay well what's the lesson to be learned from this um, number one probably shouldn't be hitting chin whips uh, middle school move uh, number two is you know it's okay because it's just a reaction and he was just wrestling he's just he's just trying to find a way so that's great so you don't you don't criticize the kid he did he's just doing his best uh, but how can we learn from that lesson? And this morning we worked on making sure, you know, right when you get to the front head, you're looking to go to an angle right away versus sitting there and allowing this guy to hit a peek out. Um, also, when he does hit the peek out, recovering the head and making sure his head bounces off the mat, we get into a good position so that we can go to another angle. Um, so we worked on this this morning, just constantly that thought process of where's the angle, where's the angle, where's the angle? And that is an elimination process that we we do from, okay, this is a position we could get beat. Okay, how do we make sure we don't get stuck in that position? You know, I'm in on a shot, the guy hits a chin whizzer um, or a chin whip. Um, you know, how, how do we beat the chin whip? Okay, for me, I like to lift the guy up off his feet, uh, but if he chin whips me through, I'm gonna roll through with the shot. 
Okay, so these are things that we think, but we reverse engineer it some days where we just say, what are all the possible ways uh, that maybe we could get beat? And then we reverse engineer it and, and find ways uh, that we can make sure we're successful. Make sure we have option B and C and D um, so that it never happens. You know, we saw a great example um, of one of our best wrestlers in the entire world, um, Kyle Snyder. Kyle Snyder blocks his shot and he gets put in a front head and he's in that he's in that front head position. He's holding Sajulayev in a front head and uh, shot Sajulayev, you know, hits, hits kind of a unique move that Kyle had never really seen. He even said it in an interview afterwards. He said, I've never seen that move before, maybe in like middle school or little guys. Um, and, uh, you know, but now he knows, like it can be a high level move as well. And I guarantee you, like he's went over that move in that position multiple times already, just to make sure that's not a position that he gets beat in in the future. It's very important that we don't fixate on all the possible things that we can get beat on and we, we still focus on our mission and our goal and our style and the way we want to wrestle and our techniques and our skill sets and how we're going to take people down and how we're going to score on people. Uh, but it's also very, very important to be aware of things that could potentially beat you. You know, one of the ones I see at a young youth level is the simple head and arm. You know, constantly these kids come head and arm out of nowhere. And if you don't know, like if you actually haven't practiced, like what to do when a guy hits a head and arm, okay, there's a good chance somebody's gonna catch you in a head and arm. Um, or a cradle, you know, you get locked in a cradle. This is one of the worst positions in my opinion. And if you don't practice this regularly, then you're not gonna know what to do when a guy hits cradle. Um, if you don't practice, like what do I do if the guy gets cradle? How do I get out of this? I remember, you know, one day um, when I was in, uh, when I was in, uh, college and uh, a guy had hit a cradle on me I couldn't get out and I remember my coach spending probably two hours just in that position just in the cradle position just working on hey Levi this is how you make sure that you break the lock this is how you this is the technique and maybe someday I'll just film that and share this story um, because it was a two-hour technical session just learning how to make sure, um, just learning how to make sure that I don't get stuck in a cradle. Um, so guys, it's super important. Um, it's super valuable uh, lesson, hopefully, that you can learn today is just to understand, like especially if you're a really high level wrestler, start understanding all the different ways you could potentially get beat um, and make sure you work on some of those little things, some of those little positions you know, what do I do if a guy does this? What do I do if a guy has an arm bar? What do I do if a guy has a cradle? What do I do if a guy chin whips? What do I do, you know, if a guy tries a mutt lock? What do I do if a guy tries a lat drop? What do I do, you know, and just what do I do if the guy does this or that? And you start working on the, these positions because um, that's gonna that's gonna really help you guys. Um, anyway, guys, I hope this uh, makes your morning great and uh, you guys can um, accelerate your day uh, today just by uh, taking this message in, applying it in your life, um, and going all in. Go all in with it, guys. Make sure you do this. Make sure you do this. Don't be the guy that misses this, doesn't work on it, and then gets pinned in a moment that matters or gets t give, gives up a takedown when he doesn't know you know, how to stop that takedown or, you know, he gets thrown in the head and arm because he doesn't know, uh, you know, how to, how to stop the head and arm. So just, just be aware of this and uh, work on this. Um, it's a very important uh, skill set uh, to just kind of put into your training. Don't do it in practice time. Don't do it in your practice hours. Do it in some extra hours, uh, but put in the work. All in. It's a lifestyle. It's a choice. And it's time.